um, I am here with just a little demonstration more than anything. Um, thanks to Liz for picking up on something on the video, the last video I did this, um, which would have been number three in the series. When it came to tying this bow, I forgot to split the video and add that into the section where it was slowed down and showed normally. So it was so still really super speed while I were doing it. That wasn't my intention. I was actually supposed to split the video before then to slow it down and I obviously didn't. And of course, we're being in such a excited rush to get this series out there. I obviously didn't um, check it before I posted it. Normally I will obviously check the videos while I'm editing them because I edit them. Then when it's exported to the PC I usually watch it back again as a normal video before uploading to YouTube because then I get to see what you guys get to see. Sometimes there are glitches in the editing so once I've exported sometimes while it's exporting there will be a bit of a glitch and bits go missing or whatever. So then I've got to re-edit before uploading to YouTube and I didn't check. So you know. Um, it'll have been a lapse of concentration on my part when I did it. But yeah, she said um, she managed to figure it out by slowing the video down on the YouTube settings to, I think she said 0. like the slowest speed, 0. 0.5. But I'm just here to give you just a quick demonstration on how to do it. Because it's, it's super simple. It looks difficult, but it's super simple. Um, and I kind of basically just winged it when I did it. It kind of just happened. Um, since doing that video, all I have done is just added this bulb clip to the front just to keep the two little tails together. And it's just got a super simple little pearl bead on it, um, which actually come off a piece of broken jewellery. But yes, so I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to show you how to do the bow. Excuse the fingers. I've just been doing my um, Fab Tag 30 day challenge. Um I say it's super simple. <laughs> it is super simple. It's not super simple to get into. What have I done? Oh dear me. There we go. I'm pulling the wrong one. <laughs> That's a good start to the video. I'm pulling the wrong one. Okay. So there's the journal. Again, I have done absolutely nothing at all to it since video number three. We are going to revisit this journal soon because there are some other things I want to do to it. But for right now, that's the series done just for a little while while I focus on other projects and um, challenges. But yes, yeah, so this is what the piece of material I use to, back to do the closure, which is the same as the ribbon I use to bind it with and it not even ribbon sorry it's the same that i used to bind it with which was a cut up old duvet cover so all i do is fold it in half roughly doesn't have to be perfect and then i like mine with the loopy bit at this side at the left hand side so then i just took it under the journal roughly around them well i'm going to put it to the top anyway but yeah took it under the journal so it's under the back and then open the loop, pull these two bits through. Okay, so I pull it tight, but then I just move it over because I want mine in the middle. Yeah, so I don't want to pull it super tight, but I want it tight enough to keep the journal closed, obviously. So the, and you can alter afterwards. Okay, so there we are. So we've got the loopy bit here and these two bits are the tails. So you want to pull them, pull them and then take this top one and literally pull it up and tuck it under both of them. So you now have that and then just tie a knot. So Let's redo that a little bit slower. I will actually just zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so there's your loop. Pull it through. Split them. And the one that lies at the top, tuck it 
under. So you now have this and then this you just literally tie a knot with it like that just a loose one but then you tie a knot with it and that's how you get your kind of little bow then you just have to faff a little bit to get it all nice and neatly together at the top and bottom now mine's all back to front and all sorts of weird now but you can sort that out as you go and that's it then obviously this is what I where I got sidetracked and obviously didn't slow it down because I was faffing with getting everything perfect in the video um but yeah and then they just hang down really nicely it's not a perfect bow because you don't have the loopy bits but I really like it and then obviously because these want to separate like that that's where the bulb pin came in not on the video I've done that since I just slightly put one over the hook over the other and then up and through up and under through both ouch <laughs> with the pin and the pearl and then that just dangles down and it keeps them together oh sorry I'll zero you back out for that bit it just keeps them together but yeah and that's all loosey goosey and all sorts now like I said it's not even straight at the back but there are you know you you can do that whilst you're doing your bow you can faff and fiddle with that properly um to get it right but yeah but that's basically it that's as simple as it is just that so there you go let's just quickly go through it again okay so you've got your tie whatever you want to use roughly fold it in half they don't have to perfectly meet the ends don't have to perfectly meet if you know you can have your loop at that side if you want no problem but I just prefer to do it this way so open your loop push them through readjust and pull back on itself which tightens it up split them you'll find one goes up one goes down the one that goes up tuck it under both at this side so you've got that and then this one here goes like that and under a bit like a macrame 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 whatever it is not <laughs> and we're done just tie a knot basically and then you get your cute little ball knot you can, like I said, faff around with it a little bit to get them where you want them to be. And there you go. As simple as that. A cute little bow. And then, like I said, just to hold them together. I've got them all. There we go. Just to hold them together, it's just a simple bulb pin. Garment pin, as some people call them. And just... A pearl bead on an eyelet pin, eye pin, both sides. It came off a broken piece of jewellery. Just don't stab yourself with the needle. Pop that onto there like that. Just a simple little dangle. And then overlap these slightly, which you'll find they will be anyway. See, like that. And then just go through there. And up there through the front one up through the back one which then connects the two and there you go position that wherever you, I do it slightly further up but position that wherever you want and you've got a cute little dangle that is too low down for me let's put it further up that's it guys it's just I made it look way more complicated than it were in the video because I was busy faffing and everything else and you know focusing too much on getting it straight i actually at that point forgot i was filming <laughs> so in through that one and then up through that one and there you go i've still come too low down never mind anyway you get the point it's more about the ball than the dangle but yeah and there you go guys so 
Thank you so much, Liz, for pointing that out. I know you wasn't meaning it as a complaint or anything when you request, when you inquired about it, but I'm so glad you did fine. Pick up on it and let me know. Because, like I said, that was a complete oversight on my part. But thank you so much. And I, I know you said you'd managed to figure it out by slowing down the video, but I hope this helps you a little bit more and anybody else who was watching and wondering. But yeah, so super simple little bow without all the hassle of being able to tie a perfect one. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I will see you again soon. <laughs>